In this session we're going to look at how we can import an image into Boxwood CAD CAM design tools uh, and create a 3D surface that we can machine and when we backlight it we get a quite amazing visual effect. It's probably one of the simplest things to do within the software but probably one of the most impressive especially uh, when the students first see it. It really will fire their imagination to uh, explore the equipment further and learn how they can use it to do their own designs. Uh, let's just show you how we do that then. So we go file uh, import image relief and we have a special wizard that launches. We tend to use this for a lot of our imports, this wizard based approach where we work our way through answering a question or two per page. Uh, the first one is load uh, the image. Okay, so we've got an image loaded there. If it was coloured it will convert it to black and white when it imports it in. Uh, we have the option here to actually crop it so we can crop out the bit we want to actually machine uh, we can either do it like as a rectangle, as a square, as a circle, or as an oval. We'll do it as an oval just to make it a little more interesting. Okay, we go next. Okay, we can we can play around with the brightness and contrast. Uh, and here we can actually do some mirroring. So if when we've machined this, we want to look through from the plain side of the material, rather than the machine side, we would mirror it in X. Um, we can also mirror it in Y. We can do a negative for a different effect, or we can do a custom rotate at, at any angle. Okay. Now we're going to select the material. Now we use standard cast acrylic or plexiglass for this. Uh, just three millimeters thick. Uh, and here I'm just doing a little small one that you could make a, a, a small handheld um, uh, artifact with. We're going to select a tool from the library. We use a 6mm chamfer tool that uh, we supply with virtually all our machines and which can be purchased through Boxford. Pretty much going with all the defaults here. Uh, and so the blue bit is the material, the red bit is the area that the uh, image will take up. So if we want a little border, then we can just bring that in a little bit to ensure there's a full border around it. Okay, this is, uh, we can move it around, so we've just got it set to the centre at the moment, we could obviously move it around if we wanted. Um, and this is the most important value on this uh, page of the wizard. This is how much material we leave on the bottom. So between the deepest uh, point of the machining and the bottom of the machining, just half a millimetre to allow the light to pass through. Okay, and from that information, we've used the grayscale to create a 3D relief. So the black is high, the white is low, and everything else is somewhere in between. Okay, now to create a cutter path that the machine can understand, we just save it out into the main application, and you can see here, if I just slow that down a little bit, the V cutter is going along, it's going up and down every time there's a change in grayscale. So although one of the easiest programs to create, technically for the software and for the machine, they're one of the hardest, up to this point so far, you know, we've visited over 9,000 coordinates already. Um, so they are certainly the largest programs we have to deal with. And right through to the end of this, um, it, we're going to be looking at uh, 25,000. In fact, if we have a look at the GNM code up here, and 29,000 lines of code. So 29,000 different points we're going to visit in machining this, this relief. And the, the detail you see in them is absolutely incredible. But as you can see from what I've done them, they're an extremely easy program to create. Um, you can even use the batch manufacturer uh, facility within the software to batch these together, put one sheet in a machine up to maybe 25, uh, a class full in one uh, machining operation and then you can incorporate them maybe into some other project work by putting an LED light or something behind them uh, and creating a very personalised and very high quality artefact. So that's it, that is how you import an image into Boxwood CAD CAM Design Tools. Thank you for your time.